tripods are a staple of genius. They have three legs, one for each leg. Uh, look at this man using it. Ooh, see it folds out for optimal performance when you're balancing the camera on top of it. Here's how it's made. They start by printing the metal out of this printer machine. Chain operated. As you can see it comes out in tubes to be later formed into the legs, as I would presume. They ride this roller coaster um, onto the, the slide down to this conveyor belt. It really makes no sense, you know. Why don't they just... I'm not here to judge. It's their decisions. As you can see, he sticks it through the um, the printer hole where we get the tube's name. Each one has its own name. This one is Manfrotto 190. Meanwhile, the circles go through the white booth where they're turned black. Very ironic name. Um, it was by their choice. I, I asked and they wouldn't tell me why. They're then taken to the grinding machine where they grind off any excess blackness. This leaves us with a perfectly shaped ravioli joint. Now this is where things are taking shape. They take a slide sleeve, put it through the white tube, put the black tube through the white tube, put the black sleeve on the black tube, they slide it on really tight, really tight, really tight, okay? Manfrotto doesn't appear to get a sleeve of his own, he gets sent to this machine. This machine preps you for um, insertion, is what they call it. I thought it was pretty messed up. They take the tube, put another tube, they jam it, and they put another tube and they jam it. It's just a real big jam fest. They put the handcuffs on the tubes, and again, and then they screw them in with the screwer. They put the end cap on. This is important. Don't forget this part. Or else the soles will leak out of the tubes from earlier. They use the screwer. They screw them on. They ooh. Four in a row. One, two, three, four. Manfrotto still appears not to have his own sleeve. This is where they get the tubes ready for their ear piercings. Um, as you can see, they're taking the loops pretty nicely. Usually it hurts. These guys don't seem to have a problem with it. They put on a silent hair clip, and then they uh, they test for they test the tune of the legs. You got to make sure they work. All right, this the, this is the whistling model. They then piece this uh, contraption together. Uh, Manfrotto is nowhere to be seen at this point. I assume they took him back to the camps to. Uh, I'm not going to say what happens next. You know, it's not TV 18 plus. They wrestle him off the holder machine, bend him back to where they belong. They uh, move him over to this. This is the drill machine again. Takes another cameo appearance. And make sure it's really drilled in there. Really, really drilled in there. Really drilled in there. They give a little up symbol because this is a uh, upwards facing camera. <coughs> and after all this carnage, they give him a little thermometer so they can check his temperature on the job. Um, they drill. Oh shit! You know, I thought they were done with it, but that was that was the last one. I promise, okay? Okay. Now they're just. Oh, Shit, you know, they put these guys through a line, they just really strangle them, they really toss them around. Oh shit, they just broke his neck. Okay, now they're really, oh, they're giving him the business. Give him a little, how they mark on him, sexual friction. That's the distance level of it. Now, the, oh crap, this is, this is the screw to end all of them. But th that's it, he's, he's crying in joy, it's, it's all over. Now, I think it's, oh, this is, oh, you know, I love it when a plan comes together. Especially one this good looking. Oh, one more screw for good measure. And that's how you make a, a plain tripod on how it's made. All they do now is they test it, they really make sure it looks good in the outdoors. That's the big uh, portion. Now it's all ready to be used. Oh look, there he is. And then you zoom in. And then uh, the, the real interesting thing about this